hi guys welcome back to my channel this is don larry and in this video today i'll be showing you how to draft a basic sleeve pattern and you can use this basic sleeve pattern to draft virtually any type of sleeve you want so to get started you're going to be needing some measurements you're going to be needing your wrist measurement you're going to be needing your elbow measurement your bicep measurement which is the same thing as the upper ham circumference and you're going to be needing your sleeve length either long sleeve or short sleeve but for the purpose of this tutorial i'll be drafting a long sleeve pattern so guys let's get started so the first thing i'll be marking here is the sleeve length and i will mark it at the center of this paper so my sleeve length is 22 inches so this will be the head of the sleeve And this will be the bottom of the sleeve so I will just square an horizontal line this is the edge and this is the bottom so this bottom I will label it as the wrist and this is the sleeve edge then you connect these two horizontal lines together So this is the length of the sleeve and it's the same thing as the green line. So I'll just label it at the green line or the center line. So the next thing I'll be marking now from the head of the sleeve is going to be the bicep. And I'll be using the standard measurement. So this standard measurement on the screen is what I've been using for all sizes, for all my clients. And it's working so well. So, for my measurements, my bicep from the head of the sleeve is five three quarter. So that is what I'm just marking here. And once you've marked it, then you square that line and you label it as the bicep. Once you've done that, then you find the middle point of bicep and the wrist. So like what I have here is 16 and a half. So the middle point of it is going to be 8.25. So I'll just mark that. And once you've marked that, then you go up by half an inch from that mark. So I'll just go up by half an inch. And this new half an inch is going to be the elbow line. So I'll just mark that horizontal line again and label that as the elbow, elbow line. So this is the elbow line and I will want you to cross check something. You measure from the head of the sleeve down to the elbow line just like I'm doing now. And what I have here is 13 and a half inches and that is exactly my measurement. So you can do the same thing just to cross check if it's the same thing as your own measurement. So the next thing we want to do now is to input our measurement and I'll be starting from the bicep. So you measure your upper arm round and bicep is the same thing as the upper arm circumference. So whatever you get there, you will divide it by two for this side and for this side. So for my measurement, I have 13 inches. That means I will have six and a half inch at this side and six and a half inch at this side. So I will just place my measurement like this. So this is the six and a half for this side and six and a half for this side. Then I will need to extend this line. Then at the elbow level, you do the same thing. You take your measurement round and then half of it will go with this side. The other half will go with this side. So my horn is 11 inches. That means I will have five and a half at this side, five and a half at this side. Then at the wrist level, you take your wrist measurement. So I have nine inches. So we have four and a half inch at this side. 
four and a half inch at this side. So the next thing now is to connect this line together. And once you've done this, the next thing you will do now is to connect this point to this center line at the head of the sleeve. So now that you have this, you need to determine where you want to be the front and where you want to be the back of the sleeve. So this will be the front. This part will be the front and this will be the back of my sleeve. So once you've done this, then at this line, this slanted line now, you divide this line by two. So what I have here is 8.7 inch so i will divide it by two whatever you have there you find the middle point so this is the middle point here and again from here to here you find the middle point so here i have two points two and also from here to here you find the middle point So once you've done that, we have three points at the middle of this line. You can see the point one, two, three. So now we want to create the sleeve head curve for the front part of the sleeve. So at the upper part, I'll start from this upper part. You will need to measure 0 0.8 inches. These are the standard measurements and it's working fine for me. So I will be marking 0 0.8 inches from this point like this. Then I will come to the middle point. I will mark 0 0.3 inch. So 0 0.3 inch like this. And then you know you notice that I mark this towards the upper part. And for this down part, you will need to mark it around this place. So for this part, you will need to mark half an inch for this part. So once you've marked it, the next thing you want to do is to create a curve like this to connect all these points together. Like that. So that is settled for the front. Then we come to the back side of it. And you do the same thing, exactly the same thing you do at this side for this back side. So first, I will find the middle point. So the middle point is here. Then I will also find the middle point of each of these. So for here, this, is, this will be the middle point. And for here, this will be the middle point. Like that. And again, we are going to be creating the curve. So I will also start from this upper part and for the back here, I will mark 0 0.6 inch like this. And again, at this middle point, I'm going to mark 0 0.3 inch and that is exactly the same thing that I measured here. So 0 0.3 inch. And then at this lower part, this lower mark, I will mark 0 0.4 inch. Then I will create the curve. And this is what you will have. So the little difference we have here is this curved, this upper part, what I have here is more than what I have here. And at this part, what I have here is much than what I have here and as you can see the the basic bodies you can see there is difference between the armhole for the front and the back so that is the difference so if I put my back bodies the armhole if I put it on this back side so you can as you can see I'll just put it you can see that it will fix perfectly and for the front, let me just see if I can manage to fix it. So you can see that it will fix 
perfectly with the front as well so that is how it will look like what i will just do now is just to add half an inch seam allowance round then i will cut it out so this is how to draft a basic sleeve pattern and you can use this pattern to draft virtually any type of sleeve i hope you enjoy and you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe if you are yet to do so like and share my video and if you have any questions or suggestions kindly drop it at the comment section then i will see you again in my next video